Are you looking for an easy and affordable way to create a digital flipbook? If so, I've got a program that you should definitely check out. Today, we're gonna take a look at hazing and all that it has to offer. My name is Michelle and I release videos on marketing websites and all things design. So if you find this information helpful, please be sure to give the video a like and subscribe if you enjoy these types of tutorials. Now, if you're ready to get started, I am. So let's dive into hazing. If you're looking to create a flip book, I wanted to show you a really affordable option that I found called hazing. Now there are so many different flip book creators out there and they all have different price points and ranges of abilities that they can do, but I really think this is gonna be a great solution. So if you're looking to create something like a digital magazine, a catalog, or maybe you have an ebook that you kinda of wanna jazz up, or even something like brand guidelines that you can just easily send to people in kind of a unique way, this would be a really great option for you. Now, we'll go through at the end some of the other programs that I've used in the past and why I think hazing is actually a better option. So I'm logged in and currently I'm on the free tier. So on the free tier, you have up to five publications that you can add. But if you want to upgrade to the pro version, which isn't really that expensive, you can go and make unlimited publications. So the really cool thing, just a couple of quick tips is the fact that you get to completely style, whether it's the background of it with colors, you can add your own branding, you can embed this into a website, you can share it with others via a link. If you upgrade to one of the higher tiers, you can actually integrate Google Analytics into it so that you can get all of the analytics of like when it's being viewed and how it's being viewed so that you know what kind of traction that your publications are getting. And you also have the ability to add some protection to it. So if you wanted to password protect this or restrict the websites that it is being shared on or even limit it to sp very specific email addresses, you can actually do that with the right tier. So let's jump in and I'm gonna show you some of the things of how this works. So currently I'm on sort of the home page, if you will. I have the ability to just upload a PDF right here and that's what I'm gonna do. So what I'm actually gonna upload is a brand guidelines template that I've created. This is actually gonna be on my store available soon. So I am trying to develop a lot more designer resources and templates that can be utilized. So if you're a freelancer or just a creative type and you want some templates that are pre-designed that you can kind of plug and play your own information in, that is my goal. So what we have here is the opened first spread of the PDF, which is the table of contents. So if I want to, I can do a couple of things where I can add a title and then I can do a page effect. I have the option for magazine, book, album, notebook, slider, cards, cover flow, one page. So if you don't like that spread view, you could change that up. I'll probably keep to magazine. <laughs> It does have a sound effect every time that it turns a page, which I'm finding a kind of annoying. So I believe you can turn that off once we get into the customization mode, but let's just add a title really quickly. I'm just gonna have the brand that I created for this. It's called Bogus Brand. It's just a fake logo that I developed. And then the subtitle will be Brand Guidelines. So let's hit the customization button. And then I can see that I've got this little hazing flipbooks logo. If you are on the free tier, you can't get rid of that. Now, while there isn't any advertising and you can completely customize it, in order to get rid of this logo, you will have to upgrade to the next tier. We will talk about pricing in a second, so don't worry about that. Let's turn the sound off before I get super annoyed because I don't know how many more times I can handle that page turning sound. So as we go through this, if you want to continue to add a description or put any private notes in there, you can do all of that in the title. In the page effect, you can select just like we did on the very front end of this before we went to the custom mode. You can switch that up if you needed to. For the background, if I want to, they've got some preloaded backgrounds in there that I could customize it with, but you can also add your own. And if you're not wanting to use an image, you could do just a color that you want. You can put a hex color in there, or you could make some more adjustments to the background, whether it's 
the position of the background that you're uploading or how it's covering. So for instance, if I were to pick one of these potentially, let's take a look at this wood green. If I went into style, I might be able to move it around bottom center contain. Let's see, the contain means that it's not stretching. So you can make further adjustments. It's just kind of like when you're on a web builder and you are putting in a background image, you can make these adjustments if you need to. You could also do transparency and then you could add a blur if you want to. So just a couple of custom options for you. Let's just stick with this wood grain for now. Not that it matters. You can see that the branding is still there and that this title is there as well. So that's not really gonna go away. So if you do want to replace that logo, there is an option for it here. And you just have to upgrade to one of the plans in order to switch that out. So let me zoom back out. You also have options for the controls, what you want people to be able to do, whether you want them to download it, print it, uh, how they navigate. You've got icon options that you can adjust and also the ability to choose where you want those controls to show up. So currently in there in the top right, you can see that there. We've got the page corner when you hover over it and we've got that little arrow as well so that you can navigate. So I'm gonna just close that out. Looks like there's a pagination bar and then there's also the background audio. If you wanted to add just music to that. I'm sure that you could. So if you want a little light reading elevator music, if that's your GM, you know, go for it. And then you've got the options here to password protect. You could also replace the PDF if you, let's say you updated some things and you needed the latest and greatest version without having to change all the links. You could just replace the PDF there. You could copy the whole thing. And then we've got some interactions, whether it's where I could add a link. So maybe I have this go over the logo and then I could either have it go to a page in the document, I could have it open a web address or even zoom in if it needed to. So there's some really cool customization options. You can make it really interactive because you can add things like video and audio or you can add web addresses as well. So like think about all the possibilities. Let's say you were creating a digital magazine and you had an article with a, a person in there and maybe you could have a audio link of a quote that they were giving or a snippet from the conversation to add a little bit more interactivity to it. So that could be a really cool thing that you could really customize your publication and bring it to life. So if you're done customizing and you're ready to share this, the first thing you would need to do is to save this. So any changes that you made, don't get lost. If you navigate away from the page, it's not gonna be good. You're gonna lose everything you did. And then you've got the ability to share it. So by clicking that share link, you have the option to email it to somebody. You can embed it. You can get some code to embed it into a website. You can post it on socials. You can download it. You can generate a QR code for it or you also get an HTML, you, you also get a web address link that you could just post and share it with others. So really cool. So let's take a look. I'm gonna go back to the home page. If we navigate to the pricing tab, what are you looking at if you do wanna get rid of that branding that they have on there? Well, you can see the free tier, it comes with only the five books and there isn't any ads and you can get unlimited pages and the space for it um, is only really a gigabyte. So that is a lot of space for only five books. But if you start to add things like video, that might eat up a little bit of that space. But if you want to jump to the next tier, it's only $49 a year. I think that's an absolute steal because if you've used any other flip books out there, or like the flip book generators, you know that it can get quite pricey. And I'm gonna show you one that I used to use, which was great, but it's like, this would have been perfect if I had known about hazing. Now with the professional tier, $89 a year, still pretty good pricing if you are creating a lot of publications that you want to turn into these flip books to add a little bit more dimension and functionality to it. This is where it says that you can get Google Analytics integration. So that might be something to think about. I'm not really sure what kind of stats that you get. You might just get basic stats with these because I did see a tab on that, but you might have to upgrade to this tier in order to get 
all of the bells and whistles that it offers. So one of the programs that I've actually used in the past was called Issue. Now, Issue was great because it was really cool. It's like if you had all of your links already embedded into your PDF, you know, it would make all of those links for you. But the thing was is that it would make them public. And so anybody could really find your digital publications. And if you wanted to have them private, well, you only had like a couple on the first tier and then you had to jump up to like one of the the higher tiers in order to get more of those. So I remember it was working somewhere we were paying like close to $500 just for issue, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Like I said, it's really good, but it, you had to go to that premium tier in order to get all of the benefits of what we wanted it to have. And I don't even know that there is any stats that they can pull from that. That would be interesting to know because I just haven't used it in such a long time. But honestly, if you're small scale and you just want something that's going to work for you, Hazine is probably going to be your best option. Another one that I've seen before is called Flip Snack. I've seen somebody use this. I don't have a bunch of information on it, but if you're looking for options to compare and contrast, this one, as you can see, starts off at $14 a month. That's billing at $168 a year to, you know, whatever the other additional bells and whistles are, it goes up to $420. So not great if you're looking for something on a budget. I'm always a girl on a budget. So I always like to find the most affordable options and then share them with all of you because I just think there's no need to pay for a bunch of things if you don't need them. So let me know what you think. Check out Hazing if you are looking to create digital publications with a little bit more interactivity. Love to know what you think. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.